So uh, what is Breakout EDU? Breakout EDU is like an escape room. It's a way to get everybody involved in class and it's a way to bring history alive almost so that way we're learning new things but also having a fun time doing it. And uh, what's been your favorite part of Breakout EDU? Uh, our fav my favorite part personally has been winning and just doing the best like breaking out because it's a, it feels it's like a sense of accomplishment doing that and Derny makes it a blast by helping us but also giving us the resources that we need to do it on our own and making it an exciting time as well. What's been your favorite part about Breakout EDU? My favorite part of Breakout EDU is how intuitive that you need to be to help solve the locks and then how it helps incorporate group dynamics and working in um, group environments and it helps with uh, establishing like leadership roles and and helps make um, the group members participate within the puzzle. Recently, the Gifted Services did a collaborative work with Mr. Geiswaith, eighth grade uh, language arts class and Ms. Edgar's biology class. Gifted Services was able to get a textbook called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And this book deals with a variety of topics of ethics, social, commentary, history, and science. So the students in Mr. Geis White class read the textbook and did a literature circle based around it. And then we arranged with Miss Ediger in her biology class to actually get the cells of Henrietta Lacks to come up here, look at them, interact with them. And so as a result, it was an English to science gifted collaborative uh, enterprise that we ended up doing. It was wonderful to see the middle school kids work with the high school kids and be able then uh, to have that very unique experience to actually physically work with the cells from the text that we read. What was the process of making the claymations like? So uh, to make claymations we had to make each piece bit by bit and then We'd have to arrange them on like a white piece of paper or something, and uh, we'd have to do like if the if we're to move in the video, we'd have to actually move the pieces slowly and then it's take a, a shot. Again. It's a slow movement, so one frame, one picture. So you move it just an inch. You should move. It. You should take a picture of it to get that motion of the animation. And the animation. The process required about 160, 170 Hun something. Actually, pieces. I think it was 260. Closer to 200, yeah. Yeah. What did you guys learn from the experience? How calcium uh, uses an ionic bond to bond with oxygen, which creates calcium oxide. Hello, fellow geekies and lovers of science. Today is your lucky day because you'll be learning about calcium and how it bonds with oxygen. That's right. You'll learn the type of bond uses and what calcium is all about. Put your glasses on and prepare for quite an exciting science lesson. Okay. So in our design class, we had to design a certain project called an Automata project. Now Automata is pretty much anything that moves a certain object, whether that be by a motor or by a human hand. So right here, as you can tell, this is, seems very complicated, but once I break it down, it won't seem as complicated. So these circular objects right here are called cams. Now cams are what actually makes the thing move. So if I were to turn the handle so like this, you see that each piece moves. So the way this works is done by, in this program called Inventor. So basically what we did is first we drew this on Inventor so that we could see what it was going to look like and so we knew what it was and then we exported it here to this computer so we can draw it on a 3D printer. So like after we uh, designed it and everything, then we exported it to this. So now it's just pretty much designing it and drawing and it's going to make it look like this. It's like, it's like same thing, so, except this was someone else's. And then after this, we put this on the other side so it goes onto this, just so it goes through our box that we designed on the computer out there. And after the final product, after we print everything, you have your handle and your handle holder. And after you print the cams and everything, the final product looks something like this. Last year, we implemented a tier two program at the high school. 
With the common goal of providing supports to students, we thought it was important to take our student assistance team, add additional personnel, and create a Tier 2 team at the high school. The team applied for and was awarded a $10,000 school-wide positive behavior support grant that has helped us provide additional support to students. We created partnerships with UCBH and Penn State and were able to bring their services directly to students at the high school. These supports include skill building sessions, coping with anxiety groups, and academic interventions. We have provided SAP training to additional staff and have trained team members in youth mental health first aid and check and connect. Through the creation of student self screeners and the continued use of our universal screeners, we've been able to analyze data specific to our students and identify student needs. We've identified areas of necessity by screening students and staff and are using this data to focus on providing additional supports to students to give them skills and tools necessary to ensure success and help them overcome barriers. Uh, my name is Max Krill. I'm involved with the Bell High School Safety Committee. I was involved with PSBA in Hershey, Pennsylvania as well, just Red Ribbon. I'm Abby Harper. This is my first year in Safety Committee and I'll be helping out with elementary school visits and the Prom Promise Program. I'm Leah Schrader and I help with the holiday shopping at the elementary schools. Uh, with PSBA, we went to Hershey, Pennsylvania, met with school boards across the state, and um, it was a really valuable experience as we got to meet many leaders from around the state involved with uh, school boards, and we got to present some of the ideas that we carry here in Belfont, and a lot of the school board members from the state and leaders from the state thought they were really good ideas and look forward to implementing them in their own schools. And also I was involved with Red Ribbon Week which promotes a drug-free environment here at Belfont High School and it was such a great opportunity to be a part of something bigger and promote that social unity within our school. We have a few different upcoming events of Safety Committee, one of them being, we'll be starting it in the next few weeks, we'll be visiting the elementary schools to talk about honesty with them and we'll do like songs and activities and we'll just talk to them about honesty. Um, and then another one of the things that we do is the Prom Promise and Grim Reaper. Um, before all the spring proms, we'll do these activities to raise awareness for and prevent drunk driving accidents. And it's really effective on the kids, so we do it every year. So we have, in December, we went to all the elementary schools and we did the holiday shop. And it was a really cool experience for all of us because we got to show that we have like the support for the elementary school kids. Safety Committee is a really good, like, I guess, kind of group that we do here and it really shows the support for the community and shows that we give back to them. I was really excited to join Safety Committee because it's a really positive influence on the school and I feel like we're doing a lot of giving back. I believe Safety Committee is a vital part of our school and our community and it should have a lasting impact on everything here in Belfort. Hi, my name is Miss Sandy and I've been a part of the coffee shop this year and the cafe for the last two years. It's an excellent opportunity for our students to do things that will translate into the community later and they sure enjoy doing it and we love having all the staff come and purchase coffee and cake at our coffee shop. Good morning. My name is Micah. I am the greeter at our coffee shop. I give out the order forms. Hi, I am Ashley. Hi, my name is Ashley Herder. I look at Healthcare's Cafe. I will be a cashier for a Healthcare's Cafe. And I love to say, no, thank you. Hi, my name is Adam. I work in a Thank you all for coming.